You know, Rings, for being away about, you know, seven days, you missed your release date by about seven days, because this, if nothing else, is a January horror film. Hey guys, my name's Wes, and you're watching Wes Nichols TV, and today I'm reviewing Rings. Rings is a 2017 horror film starring Matilda Lutz, Alex Rowe, and Johnny Galecki. It is directed by Javier Gutierrez and is the third film in the Ring franchise. I always start with my reviews with the positives and I will say that this film does build upon the, well, already very murky foundation the Rings franchise has as far as lore. The Ring franchise has very weird lore. It's like, this is for sure, this is kind of for sure. We know, only thing we know 100% is that you watch the tape, seven days, this weird TV ghost girl is coming for you. That's the only thing we know 100% for sure in this franchise. But in the second film, and a little bit in the first film, they add kind of extra rules to it. This film is no different. It adds its own rules, adds these signs, these vision she's seen, and I do appreciate that add-on. I thought that it does push the story forward a decent amount. I thought that the mystery, which these films always have kind of a mystery element to them, you're trying to follow and solve and save yourself. I kind of dug that stuff. I'm going to be honest with you. I really followed each. I like seeing the clues and the horror atmosphere, and that stuff was pretty decent. It held my interest throughout the entire film. I will also say that the atmosphere, the tone set, well, it's okay. It's what you're looking for in a horror film. It was very dread-filled. There's kind of the feeling like you are on a time clock. There's always something kind of... Anything could happen to you at any even point, especially when the visions got involved. And there was kind of grungy feel, too. Like, everything felt very dirty. And, like, it made me feel uncomfortable. And that's great for what this film is going for. But sadly, that is kind of where the positives end and the negatives begin. Because while it did try with the tone and the attempts at some of the skaters in this film to be a very good horror film, aside from the tone, they really kind of failed into everything else. The movie's not scary. There's a couple jump scares that kind of get you, but there's nothing like jump scary enough where it's like, oh man, this movie's made for the jump scares. So throw that out the window. It also doesn't have any really big scares. In the original ring, the tape is scary. You're watching this tape, the visions, even though they're nonsense, freak you out. Maybe it's the black and white and all the shudderiness of it, but it freaks you out watching it. I, one of the few movies when I was a kid that gave me nightmares. I did not, I couldn't watch the movies on, I gotta leave the room. Go. Gone. I've been able to watch it now that I'm a little older, but it freaked me out. Watching this, I feel like they converted a lot to CG, and it did not have any of the effect. I could watch all, I could watch those tapes for an hour, and instead of getting annoyed of watching this shuddery, weird CG tape, I could watch it without being scared at all. On top of that, the actual attempted scares, like where, oh, is this real life? Is this a vision? What doesn't work? It just, it didn't work with me. None of the big scares landed, which is very important. None of the small scares really landed all that effectively to even their extent, and that's even another bigger negative. This is a horror film. If you're not scary, you're failing your job. That's what your primary purpose is. Give me a garbage story with terrible acting, but scare me a few times? I'll give you a five and a half, because that's your point. Like, you don't have to be an Oscar-worthy film to, you know, scare me and make me leave a horror film saying, that was okay, but you didn't do that. So I'm, it's going to be huge marks down on your score because of that. Top of that, there is some terrible overacting in some. Not to say the film's horribly acted. There is some decent acting well throughout the film. Like, the main characters are all decently acted. But there's some side characters, some moments of the leads, just overact. Not to the point that they are hilariously overacting, which can be seen as a positive in some weird ways, but just below that. So it's unbearable. You're going, oh my god, I'm, honey, I'm sorry. No. No. Amy Teagarden, you're a good actress. I loved you in Friday Night Lights. You're a decent actress show Starcrossed. This is not your role. You were terrible. I am sorry. But, nothing, everything else, take into consideration, the ending of this film. The ending of the main storyline in the mystery, fine, you left me in a decent point. I was kind of like, you know what, the movie's not terrible, it's not great, I catch it on cable, I might watch a few minutes of it. The ending, ending of this film, the last scene of this movie, is so garbage and so almost cliched that I can never watch this film again. You show me the films on TV, I'm not scared of leaving the room. I just can't bear to watch this ending again. I sat through an hour and a half of this movie thinking, eh, eh, just to give me the worst possible ending you could have given me. I hate these endings. And I, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but 
if you do go see this film, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just, it's so bad. And that's why, without that little end scene, which could have been taken off this film entirely and been fine, I would have given you a five. I would have said, you weren't scary, but your tone was fine, and you're a, a semi-watchable mystery. Fine. The second one wasn't all that good, so you're not that much worse than that one. With that ending, you were going to get a 3.6, 3.8 area. And that is because I'm not going to hit everything else that was decent in this film that hard. But that ending drops it down like a point and a half almost. Because it was just terrible. I, I, I hate it. I hate that ending. But that's just my opinion. And I want to hear what did you think about it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Is the ending not that bad? Am I overreacting? Let me know in the comment section. Especially if you've seen the film. Just, I wonder what you guys think. Click that like button right over here if you liked the video. Subscribe to West Tickles TV if you want more of my reviews or other videos. Make sure to comment down there if you want me to review a movie. I might just do a review by request. I've kind of been feeling that lately. You can follow me on Twitter at WestNickles14. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Wes. You're watching West Tickles TV. Have a great night. Bye.